Good morning from the 17 newsroom. I'm Maddie Jansen and we're breaking into this NBC special report to bring you breaking news in the Leslie Chance murder trial. Jurors have just announced that they found the former elementary school principal guilty of first degree murder in the 2013 killing of her husband Todd. Again, this is just happening right now in a downtown Bakersfield courtroom. The jury just announced that they found the former elementary school principal guilty of murdering her husband. You may remember 52 year old Chance was accused of killing her husband Todd in 2013. After prosecutors say she found nude pictures of an old girlfriend on his cell phone. She was accused of shooting him with his own gun in his own car and dumping his body in an almond orchard. And again, jurors have just said they have found her guilty of those allegations. Prosecutors say she then abandoned his car in a bad neighborhood, hoping it would be stolen. Now to remind you, Chance's first trial actually ended in a mistrial last June before it even began when her attorney left because of a conflict of interest. Her second trial on one count of first degree murder began with opening statements on December 9th. The prosecution's case relied heavily on surveillance video that showed a woman who investigators said was Chance after the murder making her way back home. Chance's defense attorneys argued that the evidence was flimsy and entirely circumstantial. Chance's daughters testified in court that they did not believe it was their mother in that surveillance video. And twice this month during the trial, the judge notified jurors that the Kern County Sheriff's detectives failed to disclose evidence in the case and that evidence related to interviews conducted by KCSO, which featured two witnesses who told detectives they could not identify Chance in that surveillance footage. Defense attorney Tony Lidget also argued that those who identified Chance as the woman in that video did not like her. Assistant DA Andrea Kohler pointed out to jurors during the trial that Chance had no pictures of her husband Todd in her office at Fairview Elementary School. Again, she was an elementary school principal at the time of her husband Todd's murder in 2013. The defense countered and asked Chance when she took the stand herself in her own defense about items in her office they said related to her husband Todd. Jurors in the Leslie Chance murder trial began deliberations last Wednesday and then this Monday a juror actually had to be excused due to financial hardship. An alternate juror was brought in late Monday and again this morning just a few days later now jurors have reached that guilty verdict. We want to show you live as the, that verdict was read just moments ago in the courtroom. First count. We, the jury, impanel to try the above entitled case, find the defendant, Leslie Janae Chance, guilty of a felony to wit, murder in the first degree. Again, that verdict, that guilty verdict just being read a few minutes ago in the downtown Bakersfield courtroom. Now, Chance faces life in prison. We uh, will hear the sentencing later on. However, prosecutors throughout this case alleged that Chance killed her husband out of jealousy and for financial gain. For years, prosecutors have argued that Chance planned and then carefully executed her husband's death to collect hundreds of thousands of dollars in life insurance policies. They went through several different points during the trial, pointing out that they did not believe they heard Chance crying on the phone when she was notified of her husband's death. Chance's her attorneys countered that everyone was very upset, and Chance herself said that when she took the stand in her own defense. Some of the other evidence prosecution brought up, they said that they found fingerprints of Chance on uh, husband Todd's car that was left in that neighborhood after his death. They believe that she shot him in the car and then dumped his body in an almond orchard in 2013. You're looking at now we're going to show you a look at Leslie Chance's reaction as that verdict was read. Again, this was just read a few minutes ago in the courtroom here in downtown Bakersfield. It was a very tense situation. Um, I believe someone was actually asked to leave the courtroom before the verdict was read. The judge was heard warning everyone not to react once that verdict was read. And again, an alternate juror was just brought in on this case late Monday. Jury deliberations actually began last Wednesday, but a juror had to be excused late Monday because of a financial hardship. So an alternate juror was brought in late Monday. 
and this Thursday morning they announced that guilty verdict first degree murder in her husband Todd's uh, 2013 killing. Some of the other evidence presented by prosecution in this case. They said that Chance actually attended a CSI convention in Las Vegas where she picked up tips on how to commit and cover up this murder. Um, they pointed out that it was Todd Chance's own gun that was used uh, to kill him and was not found in his home after he was killed. And the surveillance video, which was the crux of the prosecution's argument, they said showed Chance making her way from where that car was dumped back home. There was a string of surveillance videos through convenience stores um, and outside of a Sam's Club where they, it was purported that she was making her way on foot and by taxi cab back home the morning that Todd Chance was found dead in August of 2013. You can follow along with all of our coverage on the Leslie Chance trial on our website, KGET.com. You can also follow along on Twitter, hashtag Leslie Chance trial. Our news cameras were not allowed in the courtroom during the course of all of the testimony for this trial. However, you see we were allowed to be in there to have that verdict read, but you can follow along with all of the testimony and read that for yourself. Our reporters were in the courtroom tweeting along with it. 17th Vanessa Dillon and Jason Katowski, our digital reporter, have been in the courtroom for this trial all along, and they'll have a lot more coverage for you today. Coming up on 17 News at noon and 17 News at 5 and 6, we're going to have a live report coming up in just about 22 minutes on the News at noon. For now, from the 17 Newsroom, I'm Maddie Jansen, 17 News.